Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to CCTV. Chris speaking, or some call me C. I think I started my channel out with C for all channels, so that's why. Um, anyways, call me whatever. Just don't call me late for supper. Anyways, what I'm showing you today is going to blow your mind. I was in Edison. This is in Edison, facing west. Edison, uh, Alaska. And I noticed this beautiful sunset. So I said, okay, I want to just do a video on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just do filtering while I'm talking and blabbing. Um, let's see if I can get my other filter to come up. There we go. Advanced level. Uh, these pictures are 3.3 megapixels. Very small. Very not clear. But what we're going to do is clear them up a little bit. And uh, I'm just going to throw some dehazing on there. Well, let's do some uh, noise first. Take all this noise. So you get a little less in here too. So I'm watching this thing. I pull it down to filter. It took me like three seconds. And I'm like, that's just gorgeous. Oh my God, what's going on in this area? Because I'm seeing light up here. Light over here and light over here. So, <clears throat> as you see, I got a little color, color, color code going so I don't get messed up. Um, so I looked, you know, actually this right here, I just showed you west now I'm going to show you north and I said my god what's going on you know and so I look at north and to me the way that thing is in there it, it looks to me like a, a white planet and I'm like what okay so I did another one this is north and I'm like that's the north okay this is the west west Okay, and I said, well, let's see what's going on. I think this is the east. Yeah, and this is the east, okay? So I started watching this come in. And as I was watching, I started noticing that yellow. Now let me show you when I do the dehaze. And it pulled that yellow. It pulls all the colors that are in the sky out. Okay, so I started getting that over there. So I started taking pictures. And I'm like, what the heck? Is it a three green asteroids? Um, maybe four, I don't know. And there's something right here. And I know it looks like a ship to me. Uh, you tell me what it looks like in comments. And there's something underneath it. So I started going, okay, let me just go ahead and, you know, chop this thing down. It gets a little bit brighter. Now, pay attention to the time. We're at 12.01. It's, it's um, 8.12.22. Okay. And so I said, let's see what's really going on here. So I lowered it, and then I did like, okay, let me see my auto filters. And I started realizing, I went really dark. I started realizing these are the three asteroids or something coming through. Maybe the little red star or the red asteroids. It's kind of got that red in it, you know? I'm searching around, looking at different filters. This is what I started getting. And I said, what is the white behind there? Extreme white light source. You know, extreme. So I just start going through my, uh, my east skies here. I wanted to show you these, these reflections in the sky. I haven't even gone back to the west yet to see what really happened. Um, if I clear them up, highlight them, shadow them all the way down and then add black so whatever is black will turn black right so here we got that's like see that curve not right see the red almost looks like a sun is that our real sun in the east at let me see I think it's like one o'clock yeah so this is one o'clock happening meanwhile I said I gotta go look I gotta go look north again. So I go to north. Okay. So this is my story today. I go to north. I said, okay. So I'm in the north and I'm watching this dark cloud if I lower the light. It's just a very strange cloud, but Still gonna see that like what looks like a white outline of a planet. I darken it up. You can still see that 
with the different colors. Maybe the red on the left is coming from the sunset in the west. Remember I told you. Okay, so <clears throat> caught some of that. I just keep going. And uh, to my amazement, everything's amazing. It just looks like a planet and another sun going down on the left. But anyways, I love these pictures from uh, Relaxation, Nature's Relaxation Channel. Give them a shout out, Nature's Relaxation. It's just beautiful. Let me show you a little bit more. We'll keep going. So I keep going back to the north, and uh, you know I'm looking at this right here, and I'm looking at this leftovers from the west sunset, if that's the leftovers. Okay, and I'm just going to show you picture by picture. I'm going to go ahead and pull out a auto um, auto filter. I call them auto filters. Look at that thing, it's amazing in it. So you see how much color is really in the sky. All I'm doing is magnifying the color. So you have a source of light up here. Okay. Moving right along. So you know why I say I don't know because, you know, I'm not gonna say something that's not true, personally. So I just kind of darken them up a little bit with these auto filters and show you. stuff that could be in the sky. Wow, that's interesting. That's very interesting. This is all north. See that? White, roundish clouds in front of it. Yeah. What are you going to do with that, folks? What are you going to do with that? I like that thing, actually. Some of the stuff I've never seen before because I haven't had it this close. Um, let's go down on the black a little. So I'm kind of amazed. I keep looking. And this is my store. I keep looking. I thought that was pretty interesting up there on the left, on the right. This speaks volumes to me. I can't share it all because some stuff I don't, I'm just speculating. I'm not here to scare you. Because, you know, so, so now is that a planet coming up? That's the question. And I've been watching Igor. He's, he's totally on board with all the stuff I'm showing. He's showing the same stuff, different place different time so it's just beautiful 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 let's go to uh, D Hayes bring it all the way down D Hayes that's what you're really looking at folks that's what the color of the sky is it's extreme but you know you bring the D Hayes back you still can't deny that planet right there so let's move on so I'm showing you the north so I go to myself you know enough of the north look at this stuff this is crazy i did a lot of um actually this right here we just switched to the uh, south you see so I, i'm like okay i'm enough of the north this is north right here so i switched to south and i said i'm just going to find out what's here so to my amazement this thing is just you know drill behaves i'm not doing nothing special but behaves you know, if I did the same thing on gamma, let's see. Uh, exposure is gamma. I'm going down to gamma. Okay. It's still not the same. It just takes all the light out of it. And you get this. But now if I take the dehaze on top of that, and the dehaze brings out the colors. So now you got this round looking thing, object got this small star looking object and you've got the most craziest skies the sun went down over here a little while ago it is two o'clock right now and the red is west that's when I first started out I started seeing this stuff and it's pretty amazement pretty amazing
bring all the highlights out, bring the shadows out. This is extreme filtering. Contrast all the way up. Clarity just a little bit. It's so intense. And so there you go. And this was at uh, 220. So 220. This is happening in the West. 220. And let me show you what's happening in the East. Hey, don't look at those pictures. Don't look at those pictures. You see, that was just the West. Remember, remember this. This is the West. I showed you. I mean, this is the East. I showed you earlier. East looks like, you know, these green planets. Remember this? I'm just show you again to remind you. Green asteroid planets. I'll put a picture of Samuel Hoffman's up there. You guys can see it, okay? Be right back. So what I want to stress to is these green, these green planets, green asteroids, the Piscity's kind of got a green OCG obstacle cluster groups. So that's what we're looking at, the cluster groups on the east side. But this is also going on between 1 o'clock and 3.30 at the same time on all sides, guys. I can show you the timestamps on all sides at 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock. It's all going on right here. It's all going on. If you're just looking for a red planet, I'm sorry, but I'm going to show you what I'm thinking is going on. Really. I don't think Nibiru, Planet X, is coming. I don't think it's almost here. I think we're in the middle of a pole shift. You look at the rain, you look at the storms, you look at the hail, you look at everything out there on the internet. All kinds of places are underwater. Volcanoes are alive. I mean, it's just nuts, folks. You know, you've got to get a clue. you got to wake up. You gotta get your mind wrapped around what's really happening is in the sky too, not just on the ground. All that is gonna leave us hanging, but I don't believe that God will leave us hanging. So stay tuned, because God ain't leaving us hanging. He's with us, Psalm 91. Folks, can't tell me these green objects here are not what Samuel Hoffman warned us of. And this could easily be an epicity or something up here with the green. Um, but meanwhile, while this is going on at 110, okay, 110, we've seen we've seen the north at three o'clock. 340 is north at 3 o'clock. Oops, sorry. 3 o'clock, right? Okay. So I showed you a lot of the north. I showed you some of the west. So the west, the west just continues to go down. Um, and this is at 225. Now, I'm just going to go back to south for a minute. I decided to look at south, look at south, look at south. So I got this. Now, at first I didn't notice it because I wasn't in the Samuel Hoffman mindset, but I said, wait a minute. That thing is as clear as possible. Look at the green reflecting. This is south, folks. Let me see. Yeah. Mm. Is it south or west? No, this is actually west. And the timestamp on these was 120. We well, remember on the other side at 120 on the east side. Yeah, these are on the west side. Let me look. 
I'll make sure I don't make no mistakes. No, that's right. This is the West. I just marked it wrong. I still confuse myself. But you see that red, red, red planet right there, right? Now see these three objects here. One, two, three. It's right behind the green. This is, yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely west. <laughs> oh my god! Just because of the timestamp on it. So I kept catching them. Um, you know, I don't know what you guys think about them, but I think that's amazing. Um, there's something there. See the. The sun is setting. It's like coming in to set. That was Wes. I'm thinking, my God, how much better can I get? Now there you go. It's it's kind of like the colors changed. And you kind of see that. But you don't see that no more. You see that cloud? That cloud broke up. Now, illusion could be blue beam. Most definitely, them. There's so much lying going on. Who could not think blue beam? Um, so we're going. Oh, next picture. Next picture. This thing's just in the air. You notice how when I show you over here, it's too bright. You can't see that very good, but when I show you over here, when it moves out of that red tone, it turns more darker. Look at all the orange down there. Wow. Okay, so then this is what totally happens at uh, 150. This is one, 115, so one, by 150, this thing just explodes all over the west. So as we look at it, yeah, caught another one of it. You see the green is reflecting from the opposite side of the horizon, the east, because of the green. Now as I'm watching south, I just turn it to south and at three o'clock we get this. But wasn't it like two o'clock we got this? Yeah, 150. Well, this is south. See, that's the sun going down. Now, what's this in the south? This ain't the moon. I mean, I looked at the moon yesterday. It was up and sometime in the daytime. But, you know, I'm thinking, this ain't the moon. Let's just do a little fun with it. Dehaze. Yeah, you think that's the moon. Okay. Well, if you think that's the moon, that's okay. Because I'm going to check the moon time. Be back. On well, 13th, it was 6.30 a.m. 6.30 a.m. On the 13th. And I did the video on, I think, the 11th. Much different. We're seeing 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, right? So 6.30 in the morning to 10 o'clock p.m. Something not matching. Something. That's Anchorage footage. My bad. That could be the moon. So right about here. Let me see. 9 p.m. 6.30 p.m. the moon comes up. 3.30 p.m. the moon rises in the east. So about here would be like 5 or 6 o'clock. So that's not the moon. You tell me. This is a couple days. Well, August 10th, August 11th. You tell me. I don't think it's the moon in the south. Now, what I want to do, hello, I'm back, I went to lunch, what I want to do is look at these bottom ones here, now remember this is south, at 3 o'clock, okay, now, this is west, at 154, so 2 o'clock, this is south, at 3 o'clock, not the moon, because the moon would be about here, 
came up at 3 a.m., so the moon would be about here. Now, notice uh, the color separation of the blue. I mean, the whole thing is just darker blue. Then you got all these little asteroids and fireballs. You name it, right? It's there. Let's see what the date is on this one. 3 o'clock. Have you seen that? Sometimes I, okay, this one was 3 o'clock, and 3 o'clock. Now, this we're back on, uh, this is my original West, when I first started seeing it. Again, 2 o'clock, 2.40, 2.40, 2.40, 40, 40. you can clearly see the sun set light up there, right there. Okay. Let's see if this house is here. Yep. It's west. At 154, 240. See, guys? Pure proof. And this is south. Okay. houses just so you don't get confused see the house here is different than the house here the house here is different and these factories are different three o'clock so how can I be doing both 240 240 those are the duplicates 240. let me just go back to here okay the south picture is just amazing um, that's incredible looking. Um, see the highlight of the blue planet. Let's see if we can bring the blue planet out better. First, I'll look on my auto, auto uh, filters. Let's just go serene. <laughs> I like that. Check that out, guys. There's something up there too. And look at this thing. Something there. Something there, David. Look at that. Look at that. I think this whole thing right here is just kind of an eye. What? Lighten it up. It looks like an eye, don't it? Right there. Wow. Now, if you look down here, you can really see the different activity of the asteroids and stuff. Right here, there's some kind of ship. I showed you that a little earlier. Let's go extreme. Let's see if I can get this super extreme. Okay, highlight. Autocorrect. Shadows down. Look at this. Oh my god. Look at that stuff back there. Asteroids. I don't know. You tell me. You got a better clue what it is. I mean, I'm just looking at that saying, my God, help us. Uh, let's go back to a pre-filter. Sometimes the pre-filters will trip you out. Uh, that's just so good. And that's real. That's, that's probably history. Let me see if I can show you history. Remember, Istum is a red one. Look at that. Look at that, Doug. Hey, John Warner. This is uh, tripping me out. These three dots over here, I'm just going to assume they're ships because nobody else knows what they are. 
Right now we're looking at the west. And we were looking at the uh, south. So this is 110. They call this the midnight or the mid midday sun or something. Take it all the way down. Let you get to see the whole deal. How they feel? Yeah. Yep. There's stuff going on. Oh, that's just absolutely beautiful. Let's clear that up a little bit. I'm taking my time, folks. I got time. Forced retirement gives you time. Look at this, see if I could trip it out. Yeah, you tell me. Those are asteroids and stuff on the horizon. Anyways, that's the original shot. Now, here we go. This is... Um, Now this is 240. Remember um, the other green we got. These are more asteroids, I think. The way they light up, or it could be um, this right here. Could be the huge planet right there. That big blue behind us green. These could be the green asteroids. And when you're looking at the east side, which is right here. On the east side. East, where is east? So the east side at 110. These could have moved over. This could have moved over. See that little white one right there? Pretty strange capture, people. Comment on it. If you see something, you know, go back over it and timestamp it. Remember when these come out. Um, I try to do everything, you know, 4K. Sometimes they download because I have too much. Like this is pretty small pixels and not really clear. So the AI might say, "No, you don't need 4K. You'll see just as good." And so what I'm gonna do right now is just uh, share this for a second. Now when I saw this picture from the church, it was a Foursquare church in 2002-2003, I seen the horse right there. And then I realized that was an angel in red. Now that was a dark horse, could be the black horse, blowing a trumpet. But then two women in the church reported the same markings on the wall, didn't know each other. They both gave them to the pastor of that church. They had them interpreted and let me see if I can find them. I'll read them to you. 